Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on how to change a pump in a Bosch, Neff and Siemens dishwasher. We have an E25 fault and in the previous video I showed you how to unblock the pump. In this video I will show you how to change the pump. Now this machine has got an E25 error code showing. This error code is a pump related fault. Now in the previous video I showed you how to unblock a pump from the inside of the machine but in some cases you will need to remove the pump to get rid of the debris. Hairs and fibres can wrap themselves around the pump shaft in between the impeller itself and the actual body of the pump. Sometimes these can be removed but on many occasions this has caused damage to the pump and the pump will need to be replaced. But the first thing that needs to be done is the appliance needs to be emptied of water. You can use a bowl to start emptying the machine, but when it comes to getting the water out of the well, the top of a spray tin is quite useful as it fits in quite nicely, and you're able to scoop the water out. Now before we start stripping the machine down, you want to dry out the compartment completely. Using a sponge or rag, make sure all the water is removed. Now we need to disconnect the electricity from the supply and remove the lid of the appliance. On this machine it is held on with two catches at the front and possible two screws at the rear. Then we need to remove the side panels. There are two screws on the front and again on some models there may be screws on the rear of the machine or at the base of the machine depending on the model that you have. While I'm doing this, remember there are links above this video which will take you through to our website dishwasher tutorial section where you're able to find all the information and tutorials to help you through this procedure. Now the next thing we need to do is actually remove the front facial panel off the dishwasher, especially on this model as it will give you better access to the bottom of the machine. It's a good idea at this point to have someone give you a hand as you need to stop the panel falling away onto the floor when removing. I've done this many times so I do make it look a little bit easier than it is. But you need to support the panel then put the door in the upright position and then you're able to pull the panel at the bottom to remove. By tilting the machine back you will be able to remove the kick strip. Sometimes these are held on with screws now we're able to access the cover plate. This is held on with two screws, one on either side, and there's a couple of catches that need to be released. On most of the Bosch manufactured machines, the screws that are used throughout the appliance range are Torx, so you will need a set of Torx to remove all these screws. But once you've removed the two screws, using a flat blade screwdriver, as you can see here, just lift the lugs slightly and the clips should come away. Now this gives you access to the dishwasher pump area. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the water detection sensor, which is at the top. This wiring normally gets in the way. Unclip the wiring loom from the top of the pump. And now we have to release a clip at the back of the pump, which you can see here. I'll use a screwdriver in a second so you can actually see it. Just press the clip down, turn the pump clockwise, and then the pump will release from the actual housing. Remove the electrics from the pump and you'll be able to either clean the pump or replace the pump. In this exploded diagram you can see how the pump is actually fitted onto the side of the dishwasher. Now when fitting the new pump make sure that the seal goes in correctly and you don't get the pump uh, going in skew with otherwise you will end up with a leak. So just make sure you get the pump going in square then turn anti-clockwise until the clip locks into place which you can see here. Connect the electrics back up and at this point I would suggest you actually connect the machine back up to the electrical supply and we're going to do a test. Now it's a good idea to let the machine go through a couple of uh, short wash cycles to make sure there is no leak going into the bottom of the machine because these Bosch's do have a float sensor to detect any water in the bottom of the machine 
and if water does get into the bottom of the machine you will end up with a different type of error code appearing. You could hear there the distinct sound of the uh, drainage pump working and when replacing the cover plate make sure that the two clips at the bottom there lock in properly. Remember I've put some links at the top of this video which will take you through to the full tutorial section on dishwashers and you're also able to locate the part for your appliance by putting in the full model number of your dishwasher uh, followed by the related word, in other words pump and do a search on the website and if you can't find the part for your dishwasher feel free to come through by email or chat and we'll help you find the part for your appliance and remember if you do find this video helpful please remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you and there's also a donation button at the top to buy us a beer if you found this video helpful but just replacing the side panels here and then we'll reassemble the dishwasher and put it on test. At the website you will also find an FAQ section, Frequently Asked Questions, where you're able to send us an email asking a related problem with your appliance and we'll do our best to post an answer for you with any available information on PDFs or tutorials that we have already made. If you have any new ideas for uh, videos to make, feel free to uh, put your suggestion in at the website. But we're just putting the machine onto a wash cycle here. And you can see the machine has done its empty and now gone into its main wash. And there we go. Again, I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. And remember, you can always click on the Buy Me A Beer button above. Thanks very much indeed for watching.